What's up, guys? Uh, just got back from a a four day dubstep binge at Middlelands Festival. Um, had a great time. While I was gone, these guys were actually doing some work. We uh, put the freedom cells in action by feeding the homeless, going out and feeding the homeless uh, with some food that we had donated to us. Went to the farmer's market to sell some food fresh out of our garden, um, going along with the ideas of agorism, you know, writing articles, not picking up boxes, <laughs> relaxing. What's up everyone? So we just got back from the Heights Epicurean Farm Market, Farmer's Market. This is the second time that we've gone to that Farmer's Market. And thank you to Doria and everyone who allows us to come there and sell our produce. But you can see we came home with quite a bit of stuff. This is our salad mix that Jeff put together. It's got kale, um, two different kinds of kale. You got flowers in here, nasturtiums. You got fennel, there's dill, um, Swiss chard. It's gonna make a great salad mix, and we still got some more left over here. We got, we got gifted a sweet potato, so we'll get that in the ground. And we got more herbs. I'm probably gonna cook with this dill, cook some potatoes, and maybe make some tea with this uh, lemon balm here. But other than that, we decided that, you know, we, we pick the stuff from the, our garden, we take it there in hopes of selling it to people. Sometimes we don't sell it all. We eat as much as we can but we don't want it to go to waste. Ultimately, it won't go to waste because if anything, we'll put it in our compost, but what we'd like to do is make sure that this good, organic, healthy food is going to people who need food. So what we're gonna do is all the salad and, and kale mix and everything that we picked that we're not gonna eat, we're gonna put it together and make a salad. Jeffrey's been doing these awesome salads with uh, what balsamic vinaigrette, and uh, we're gonna take it to the Houston Food Not Bombs meetings, they meet Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and Sunday, so tomorrow night we'll be able to go over there and bring up a, a batch of salad mix for the homeless who are just looking to get fed um, and, and participate in that. And this is a part of what we're going to be doing on our Decentralize Your Life tour, which you guys have heard us talk about now. We're hitting 52 cities across the U.S. starting June 1st here in Houston. And we're going to be talking about my new book, we're going to be talking about Freedom Cells and everything that we're doing in the Freethinker House, but we're also going to be participating in community action, and what we're calling Action Days. So we're going to be visiting um, uh, homeless people, homeless populations, and giving out food in some cities. We'll be doing some park cleanups. I think we're going to be visiting some permaculture food forests, and we're going to be doing work with Food Not Bombs and other places. So. We want to show you an example of that. So tonight, tomorrow, we'll be making this in the salad mix, and then you guys will get to see as we go to Food Not Bombs and serve it. Stay tuned. All right, so, so <laughs> some lemon balm from the garden that the guys picked uh, for the uh, for the farmer's market this morning, and it's dried out. So Derek was wanting to make some tea, and so be it. We're going to make some tea. Just throw the leaves in there. And heat up some water. Okay, so here we have the leftovers from the market, and we've made a beautiful salad, honey, balsamic vinaigrette. And we're going down to Food Not Bombs to feed the homeless people down there. And this is exactly what we're going to be doing on our tour on all the stops with Food Not Bombs and just generally doing our action days. So, this is our action day. First one. What's up everyone? So last night after we left Food Not Bombs, we met with a great guy from Food Not Bombs who was volunteering there and he donated a bunch of food to us, like a whole bunch. Check this out. We've got 
300 to 400 burritos donated by Taco Cabana. They are not vegetarian or vegan, so they can't be served at Food Not Bombs, but we are going to work on getting them out to uh, those in need, homeless folk, and anybody else who may need food for their family. Um, and you can also see we had, this is some kale, some of it's from our garden, some of it was donated. Look at all this asparagus, tons of asparagus. It takes two to three years to grow asparagus. Lots of mushrooms and some Swiss chard and some more greens, some peppers. All of this stuff was going to go in the trash. It came from Whole Foods, so it's organic and it's still good, obviously, but it was going to get thrown away. So what we're going to do now that we've taken it in, today we're going to be cooking a big meal, um, something where we can just combine all this together, maybe a curry of some kind, and make a couple of big pots of this and take it down to Food Not Bombs tonight. Uh, Food Not Bombs, in case you didn't know, is a decentralized community activist organization that formed originally in San Francisco in the 80s, I believe. And now it's an international organization where people just come together, they meet up, and they serve vegetarian or vegan food three or four times a week. Here in Houston, it's Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at the downtown library, and also Sunday night as well. So that's where we were at Sunday night, and today is Monday, so we're going to cook up all this food, and we're going to go share it with people at Food Not Bombs, and then share those burritos with other people. So check this out. In action. You've probably heard of us talk about Freedom Cells before if you follow our updates, but if not, go to freedomcells.org to find out more about how this very specific mutual aid group can help create more freedom in our communities and help us get to a more prosperous place that represents the health and wealth of the people and the planet. So we've got all this free food now, and our goal is to activate our Houston Freedom Cell members, which is loosely anywhere from eight to twenty or so people but there's a core group of us who get involved and work through the Houston Freethinkers. I've put out a Facebook post as you can see here um, telling people we have this free food and that we're looking for people to come help give away the burritos or cook the greens. I've posted it on nextdoor.com you can see right there. I definitely recommend checking out nextdoor.com and I also posted it on the Freedom Cell Network freedomcells.org for people to check out. And what I want to show you now is another app that we recommend using is called Cell 411. So check out uh, the Cell 411 app. Let's open that up. And you see it says, here's my account. It says, click here to send an alert. Let me see if I can get that looking a little bit more clear for you guys. Um, but yeah, that's what it says right there. Click here to send alert. Now we're going to click. And you'll see you can do criminal activity, I'm pulled over, police inter uh, interaction, police arrest, panic button, I'm in danger, medical attention, broken car, being bullied, photo alert, live video, stuff on fire. So those are all sort of emergency. This is what this is. A, it's an individual. Cell 411 is like 911 except for using an app and people can come get involved. So we have friends here. We create our own cells, the Houston Freedom Cell, and you can send out alerts. You can chat. What I'm going to do is send out a general alert. So I hit it. It says send general alert. This is a public cell. Uh, we'll do a global alert. All, yeah, just a global alert. Anybody can see it. That means anybody and to public cells, to the Houston Freethinkers. Um, and yeah, well, actually, hold on. We'll go back. We'll do general alert. So this way, if you have a cell, you can join you know your whatever city you're in your freedom cell your group or you can just do a global alert for something like this I want this to go out to everybody who can see it and who might be able to come help so you just click OK send global alert you're sending a global alert all cell 411 users with patrol mode enabled and within 108 or within 80 kilometers will see your alert send description so I'm gonna just put give out food uh, giving away food giving away food and then we will send that out okay so there we go the alert has gone out there now and it's going to go out into the community and anybody who is interested in getting involved can now respond to this my location is set they can come here to the freethinker house and we'll see who comes out now i put it out through cell 411 i put it out through nextdoor.com put it out through freedom cells and through facebook 
and through my other social media. We've told friends and family. We'll see who shows up today to help cook and prepare this food. Either way, though, we're going to get out there to the streets and we're going to serve it to those in need. Is this okay? So this is what we got from Food Not Bombs last night. This was stuff donated by Whole Foods, uh, asparagus, mushrooms, kale, chard, all sorts of good greenery. We made it into this mushy soup thing. So we're gonna give it out tonight. <laughs>